what's going on everybody it's webster style and brian saffron in rw checkpoint checking out another trailer reaction this time it's a prequel to a classic uh movie from the 70s it's based in the 50s that everybody loves and <laughs> we're talking about greece rise of the pink ladies let's roll it morning boys and girls thank you for the best summer of my short life and welcome to the 1954 to 55 school year livia save your seat on my lap <laughs> sure to be our greatest year at rydale yeah we promised troy and bill we'd eat lunch with them today to end the divisions among us i want to be a t-bird <laughs> and become a truly united Rydell. He told me exactly what you did to get that jacket. Ugh. It's not as bad. time at band camp. These things blow over. Maybe for you. <laughs> there are a lot of kids in Rydell who are sick of feeling it's like they're not welcome. I can't her name. I don't know what it feels like to not be like the others. <laughs> really change things. Everyone already thinks we're such bad girls. Watch out, fellas. It's a girl game. We're not girls, but ladies. The pink ladies. We're gonna need some jackets. The pink lady pledge is to act cool, to look cool, and to be cool. Till death do us part, think pink. Changing boys. Maybe sometimes you gotta be bad to do good. Okay. Pick us all. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me. Let me. Okay. Who is this? Who is this for? Um, who is this for? A great question. What is the target audience? Because I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't either. Okay, Greece came out the year I was born. Ooh. Okay, so okay. that means Greece turns forty-five this year. Mm, mm, that means mm. the target demographic who grew up with Greece. Or in their early fifties, at the least, like who were like actually alive to see it when it came out in the theaters. Okay. Or in their early fifties, early mid fifties, at the least. Mm -hmm. People who grew up loving Greece are in their sixties. Mm -hmm. They're not watching the show. No. Secondly, see it. the fact that Greece two exists and is absolutely horrible oh. ruined any sort of. Iota of me seeing anything related to Greece outside of Greece. Mm. Who fucking greenlit this, man? <laughs> Questions that need answers. Okay, I'm done because I, yeah. All right, what do you think, Brian? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it is a trailer for something that is coming out on Paramount Plus, which is great because people got paid for it black ladies in there, black people in there, and then other actors and actresses. They're doing a great job. I feel like I am on the same boat. I don't know like who exactly they're trying to... Because the thing with Greece is like, it was literally like a period, piece, like a moment in time. And the people that experienced Greece, because like you said, it's a movie that came out in the 70s, but it was based on something that happened in the 50s. The people who experienced Greece, even they weren't necessarily like the target audience. It was like, hey, you know, sometimes like Stranger Things, for example, right. Stranger Things happens and we realize like, oh, this is set in a time and a, and a place and a, a, a world right. that used to be. And it's not necessarily like for us to feel nostalgic about. It's more so just trying to tell a period piece story. This, on the other hand, 
they reaching that nostalgia, but I don't think nostalgia is like necessarily mm-hmm. there because the people who experienced it at the time don't probably don't care about Greece anymore. Right? They just know it to be an amazing movie that it is. I don't think they put any of their children or grandchildren on. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, I get it because in a way it's a reboot of Greece and it kind of has, you know, a a tone to it that is geared towards like a generation of today. But then again, it's set in what? What year is right. that? The 50s. Yeah. It's I don't know. I feel and then, like oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say for things like this, because I could tell whoever I don't know in the post production or whatever, there should have been a filter used to kind of yes. make it look like it was back in the fifties. Yes. Like it really looked like they shot all of this on a bunch of like current generation like oh, yeah. technology. And just had everybody dress up like they were in the 50s yeah. or whatever. They it really takes you out much. of the element, the immersiveness yeah. of the time period when it looks so clean and pretty. Yeah, and that's not the quality yeah. of image that the 70s had. Like right. maybe if you were living in it, like, yeah, it looked like that. But translated on TV and film, it should have been right. whatever filter y'all was supposed to use, y'all missed it. Or maybe y'all should do like Euphoria does and shoot on the cameras from back in the day and have everything just look naturally like that. But I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts. Paramount Plus, they green lit it. That means somebody cut a check. It's happening. We see a trailer. And I'm not necessarily, I don't necessarily hate the idea. I just don't understand like why. Exactly. I don't, I don't really hate it, but just I don't. I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch this. And it's, I mean, I don't think it's for me, also. But then at the same time, like, if I wanted to share it with somebody, who am I supposed to share? I I wouldn't know who would. I don't know what age would want to see this. Because all of the all of the women that are in my age bracket. No matter what race they are, like they're not gonna watch this. Right. I, I, I know my friends, like, right? Exactly. But, so I don't know. All right. But, well, that's our take on Greece: Rise of the Pink Ladies, debuting on Paramount Plus on April six. You're currently with Nerds Rule the World. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at New Leaves Wednesday, on Twitter at the NLW, and of course, you're currently on YouTube. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave some comments. Let us know what you think.